Take a look at Boutier and where she has stood in majors. Her best 54 hole positions in major championships at the 2019 Women's Open. She was tied for first overnight, finished tied for fifth at the KPMG Women's PGA Championship two years ago, tied for third, finished tied for seventh. And Amanda, as you point out, add on to that the pressure of winning in front of the home crowd. Well, and she has admitted that she's never played well here. She, before entering this week, was 33 over par at the Evian Championship. And currently, she is 11 under uh, this week. So playing a much different ball game uh, going in. She said she had to play that mind game, that she's not playing in front of the home crowds because the amount of pressure, the eyes that want her so badly to win is really incredible. Now, she's playing really well this season. We know she's had three wins on her uh, young career so far, but she tied for third at the Dow Great Lakes team event. I really see that loosening her up. Yuka Sasso was her teammate. And when you look at her stats on tour, her best stat is her greens and regulation, is her ball striking. She's 21st on tour in greens and regulation. And that's what really stood out to me was her ball striking. When I look at the holes that played very difficult for players, I look at 16. 16 was playing the second most difficult hole. And a lot of very good ball strikers really struggled on the 16th hole. Yuka Sasso, for example, one of the most beautiful swings on the LPGA Tour. These greens have so many ridges from them. It's very difficult to judge where to place this ball. She goes long, ends up making a bogey. Nasa Hataoka, uh, just one shot behind Boutier at this point, does a very, hits it short, a little bit of a poor club choice, but also just hits it on, gets it to spin back. And then Celine Boutier fires at this hole, seeming to have absolutely no stress no difficulty in judging the yardage and gives herself a really good opportunity for birdie. She'd end up two putting for par, but on a hole that just seemed every player was missing, she made it look so simple, and we saw that throughout her round. Yeah, she's a player with the fewest amount of bogeys, only four bogeys this week. She's fourth in greens from regulation. She's playing into her game. I think that's the key for her. She's given up about 10 yards when you look at the top six or seven players in distance off the tee, obviously. At least. I think like Minji Lee said, and you've played it, to find the proper lines off these on this golf course is difficult. You've got some, they call it quirkiness, whatever you want to call it on the greens. The more you play here, the more of an advantage. But we've never had, a, in the, since this has been a major, a two-time winner. You have plenty of experience behind her. Uh, but I think the biggest thing here is she's playing to her strength. She said having her family here has kind of taken the pressure off and mm. kind of relaxed and kind of not thinking about golf because I think she's the type of player just watching her. She thinks about it, you know, trying now to win major. Maybe that takes the pressure off.